Hello everybody, it's the Gaming Dad here and we're continuing LEGO Batman 100% Walkthrough and Achievement Guide. In this video we're going to be doing In the Dark and we're going to be earning an achievement for killing the boss. Don't know why it's this one specifically but hey ho. Drurer Walker took on the persona of Killer Moth to fight the Dark Knight and developed Batman-like equipment to assist in his criminal activities. His flight suit enables him to glide silently over the streets of Gotham. What a sea budget enemy. So we're going to make our way all the way to right here and Killer Moth, the most scariest enemy of all, is going to flap away over there. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if he's like this in comics, like I'm not a DC person, I'm more Marvel, but I do like Batman, but I don't really know of Killer Moth. You know, I know Joker, Bane, Scarecrow and all that. So yeah, they're quite menacing, but this guy doesn't look so much. But if he is, comment below and tell me how bad he is. But he doesn't look it. Or at least in this level variation. Anyway, we're going to continue on. We're going to get loads of waves of enemies coming. The box standard. Punch, punch, kick. Or whatever Batman decides to do. But we just need to continue on like so. Until we get to the entrance of this nightclub or club of some sort. Maybe a bar actually, I don't know. Anyway, we need to make quick work of all these enemies. And because they're really badly parked in front of the building, we're going to have to make a quick wee detour. So we're going to go to the left here and we're going to destroy this telephone box. And the box is to the left of it. And as soon as we see them dancing, we're going to build a fan. Once the fan is completely built, we are going to activate the switch to fly up it. Or maybe not fly, but glide up it? I don't know. Anyway, we're going to continue on and jump over here. We need to destroy these boards on the wall. Enough to get in the building. Destroy every crate, any object, or whatever you want to call them. Couch, boxes, yeah. As soon as we start seeing them dancing, we are going to build... A little switch and we're going to make Batman stand on this left he might come off it because the AI controller is silly but wait and see anyway switch over to Batman and get the demo suit now we're going to go back to the nightclub no fall damage great go to the nightclub and plant a bomb in front of the van and kaboom get access to the most amazing club in the world well not yet anyway we're going to destroy that arcade pinball machine, whatever you want to call it. Don't know if it was arcade or a pinball, but we're making it for a grappling hook anyway, or a zip line. And then we're doing the zip line. Go over here and build the zip line on the right. You don't want to go up the grappling hook right now because you had to do that grappling hook first. Anyway, we're going to kill these goons because they're going to destroy or distract us when we are building something. So we're going to build the rest of this switch and we're going to push that to the far right. Thankfully, I know there is an attract suit thing in the back left corner, but thankfully we do not have to use it. So there we go. So we'll continue on using this grappling hook and build the other zip line. This is where it's thinking we're silly and showing us what we need to destroy, which is clearly marked by the silver pieces. And anyway, Batman's going to go so slow going up here, whereas Robin's got skill. And once we're here, we'll place one bomb there. And place the other bomb here. Let's step away and blow them up and jump down. Then we're going to create the floor panels so we can move the final switch over. Now, Robin, jump down, don't go up, stay up there. Activate the switches at sort of the same time. 
and going left. Once we're here, we've got a few enemies we need to destroy. And the bit that everyone has been waiting for, the most epic music in this whole entire game, is coming up very shortly. We need to destroy this big metal statue. We may as well create these as well. I don't know if we need to, but we're going to anyway. Batman's done that thing again where he creates a bomb instead of building something. Now we've got the techno suit. We're going to activate these floor panels, so Batman will go in the one we're not on. You have to be sort of quick because a few of them will disappear. And here's the epic music. And she can float. Wow. And so can our friend as well. So as Techno Robin in the Techno Nightclub, we're gonna control this amazing robot to do one thing, and that's in the wall. That's all we're using him for. Seriously. All that lines for that. Let's go down and take out these goons on a nice one-two punch date. And we now need to make the magnet suit, Robin. There's another guy over there, but I seem to not be able to target him. Anyway, we're going to continue on like so. Once we get over here, we need to be quick and not get killed while we're on this, or it will spawn us right at the start of this walkway. Once we're done, we're going to repair this pump and it will get rid of all the poison, toxic waste on the floor. And that happened. So we need to destroy the boxes on the left with Demo Batman and then create a metallical wall here. Robin is going to climb up and go over the zipline. We're going to avoid that mini kit, it is clear as day, it is there, you can get it if you want, however, we are doing that in free play. So let's just go over the zip line and we're going to activate the switch so the ladder will go down to let Batman up. I had a few problems here on the dummy account when Robin was up there and Batman was coming up as Robin got in the way, Batman would go right up to the top, so you wasted that time, and he would just fall. And this time I'm trying to get up and I don't know why it's not on me. So yeah. Good luck with that if you get it first time, well done. Anyway, we need to make sure we destroy all the stuff here as well as these two lights. Once everything is destroyed, they will start dancing like usual, so let's start building this cannon. It's actually a water cannon if you want to be proper precise. We're both going to stand on it, Robin come on. Once that fire has gone away with this little bit of a water cannon, even though the whole building and the thing around was on fire, that just seems to be enough. We're going to explode this wall and take out a couple of waves of enemies. If you want to avoid these enemies, you can just run for that blue ominous door in the background and that'll take us to the boss fight. However, we always like to fight the enemies and he's just standing here doing his own thing. Your friends really could have used your help. And here we go. So the most frightening boss is here. So the usual multi-phased fight, punch him a couple of times and then he's going to fly away. There's nothing we can do as of the moment. 
However, we are going to go here and push this into the right hand side for later on. You can do it at the second or third phase shall we say, but we're just doing it now. Anyway, we need to destroy these metal boxes so we can activate a light in the background. So once we've destroyed them, we are going to build the generator. And once we've done that, we are going to blow up this in the background. So we can let Robin get the Techno Suit. I nearly called him Robert again, I don't know why. Robin and Robert are very different. Well, not very different actually, they're Robin and it's... yeah. Anyway, we're going to go and get the Techno Suit. So there we go. Once we are free of enemies, we can go over to the first generator and just press the B button. Robin's going to do his thing, we don't have to do anything. Once Robin is done, just idling. Actually, I forgot, we do need to press B. <laughs> I was wondering, why is it not working there? Because I let go of it this time. Anyway, once it takes a while to activate these switches, Batman and Robin are going to press it at the same time and activate the light above us. And Killer Moth being a moth, he is going to go towards that light and he is going to get damaged by it. So he actually loses one heart here. We're going to punch him a couple of times, so he has one heart left, and then he's going to disappear again and fly and do nothing of any worth. So we can build that in the meantime, and then go straight to the generator point once we've killed these enemies. The reason that is automatically went on is because we activated that switch on the right hand side, so that's why it might not go on for you, but we're holding the D button this time. And it will activate the switches again, yet again, taking ages. And this will kill Killer Moth. Or defeat, because Batman doesn't kill. Doing this will also get us an achievement. Which will pop after the cutscene. Moth repellent. <laughs> and there we go, Killer Moth. Which is for defeating Killer Moth. I don't know why he's got an achievement tied to him. And nobody else has, but anyway. There's free play unlocked. Our usual percentage. Which is 44. So in the next video we'll be doing free stroke 5 and we'll be finishing the hero campaign completely. Then it will be on to the villain campaign. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification to keep yourself updated. And if you could join my Facebook and Patreon, that would be greatly appreciated also. Last but not least, see ya!